So this here is the basking platform that I made for my turtle. As you can see, it enables her to get completely out of the water. Both her carapace and plastron can be completely dry, which is very important for terrapins. It helps prevent shell rot and allows her to have good access to her UV light there. This is simple cork bark. I screwed a couple of pieces together to be make it a little thicker. Then I screwed it onto some L brackets, which go under right there. Then I used a wire to attach them to these brackets. I'm not sure what they're called. These little laps here was either on both sides of these to stick out, and I squished them down and then squished this to fit along the rim of the tank here. Um, I wired these two together instead of screwing them together that way this can adjust up and down slightly with the water level because I do lose a lot of water due to evaporation from her, her light up here. And I wanted that to be able to move so I didn't have to constantly top the tank off every day. I also wanted it to be able to tilt slightly as she's trying to get up. That way she won't have to struggle too much because she only has three legs. There's her a little stump right there. So I like making things a little bit easier for her, although she is pretty good at climbing. Now you may notice that the water is discolored right now. That is because the pork bark is releasing tannins. Tannins are not harmful to turtles, but they will discolor the water. Think uh, about putting a tea bag in some water. The tannins there will change the color of the water. It's the same thing happening here. It is not harmful for the turtle, but if you don't want that to happen, all you have to do is boil the wood. Or if you don't feel like doing that, put it in a container of water, then change the water out every day until it runs clear, and then you won't have the tannins. But other than aesthetically, if you don't like the look of the water being brown for a few days, it is perfectly safe and can even help balance balance out the, the water systems here. But yeah, it's a very uh, simple setup. Uh, it looks more natural than a lot of the basking platforms you'll see. Also, many of the basking platforms sold in stores don't really work for a turtle of this size. They're better for little babies. So when you have an adult turtle, you're going to have to probably make your own platform. There are, of course, several different ways to make turtle platforms, but I found that this one works works pretty well for her. She's able to get out of the water. It looks natural. She also has a lot of fun uh, going underneath the cork bark. She can't get trapped under there. She's capable of turning around and, and getting out. Um, but she likes going underneath there, biting chunks off and watching them float to the surface. So it also doubles as a little bit of a enrichment for her. If you have a turtle, you are probably very much aware of the fact that they like to bite pretty much everything. Um, of course, if she were a bit of a bigger turtle, I would make sure this is more heavy duty wire because I wouldn't want uh, her weight to affect that, but this is fine. It's not going to cause any, any problems here. I, I also make sure to place their bas her basking platform over where her heater is because she likes to detach the heater and this way it won't float up and get out of the water and then ruin the heater, which is something she has done before. So yeah, this is her uh, basking platform. Um, it's it, very simple, very cheap, very easy to make. And uh, yeah, this tank's a little bit small for her now, so she needs an upgrade, but for now it works out pretty well. So yeah, this is uh, one option for making a basking platform for your turtle.